Hi there, thanks for stopping in. Tim here. I wanted to show you guys my new controller that I made for my Grizzly G0759 milling machine. I hope you like it. I originally had set out to develop a power lift system for the machine, but I got a bit carried away. I ended up developing this device that I call the G Drive and it controls the entire machine. It brings some really cool features to the machine, but most importantly, it brings automation to a manual milling machine. It could also be used on a lathe, for that matter, as well. Um, but it allows me to create operations that can automatically machine parts. So you end up with a machine which is somewhere in between full manual and full CNC, although you didn't have to tear your machine apart to do extensive modifications. Although at this time you are limited to straight line cuts, I might work on that in the future. But um, I am a firm believer that you should have at least one manual milling machine around the shop. But why not add automation to it because it makes it that much more useful. So I hope you like the video, and if you do, can I ask you for a thumbs up? Thank you. Let's have a look. I have designed an easy to use controller that brings automation and time saving features to a manual milling machine. It is not traditional CNC and therefore does not require extensive modification of your mill or a dedicated PC to run it. It provides backlash compensation and works fine with the factory lead screws. It allows you to create and later recall from memory machining operations that can consist of up to 290 moves per operation. It allows for quick and easy programming of operations on the fly without having to have first designed the part in a CAM software program. It provides the following features and benefits. So when you think about controlling the milling machine with a joystick, we all know that you're actually moving the table around as opposed to moving the bit. But some people like to think that they're actually moving the bit, and I totally get that because in some circumstances it's much easier to think, well, I want to move the bit this way, so I want to move the joystick that way to get the bit to move that way. But whatever way you prefer to think about it, I let you think about it your way and I've created a menu option that allows you to choose your psychology. This mode key right here allows you to switch between the three available joystick jog modes. There is a mode for each axis. The mode key lights green when you are in Z axis jog mode. It lights red when you are in X axis jog mode. And it lights blue when you are in the Y axis jog mode. Repeated pressing of the mode key cycles through the modes but you can also use the rotary encoder to switch between the modes as well. If you press and hold the mode key, you will exit joystick jog mode. One of the really cool features that I designed into this is the ability to switch between the modes without ever having to take your finger off the joystick. This may seem a little tricky at first, but once you get the hang of it, you're going to love it. And if you feel that this feature makes it a little too complicated, I allow you to disable this feature as well. But let me show you how it works. When you are in Z axis mode, 
Moving the joystick up and down moves the power head up and down. So if you move the joystick to the right, this tells the system to switch to the next jog mode. Once you are in the X mode, if you move the joystick left or right, you are moving the table, or maybe the bit, right? But if you were to move the joystick up from within X mode, you would be switching back to the first mode, the Z axis mode. But while you're in X axis mode, if you were to move the joystick down, you will be switching to the next mode, which is the Y axis mode. This allows super easy control of the machine without ever having to take your finger off the joystick. You can see the color of the key from the corner of your eye to realize which mode you're actually in. The power feed modes are accessible from within joystick jog modes. I have worked hard to ensure that using the G drive is as simple as possible, so switching between joystick jog modes and power feed modes is only a single keystroke away. One interesting feature of the G drive is that you can program a default feed rate for the power feed modes. This is done from the main configuration menu. When you engage power feed mode, the table will begin to move at this predetermined rate. From within joystick jog mode, simply press the action key to enter the power feed mode for the currently enabled axis. To begin power feeding, simply push the joystick in the desired direction. You can adjust the speed with the rotary encoder. Press the stop key to quit power feeding. At this point, you are in the power feed standby mode and can resume feeding by simply pushing the joystick in the desired direction. Or you can exit back to joystick jog mode by pressing the action key. Another unique feature of the G drive is that you can power feed for a preset distance. While in the power feed standby mode, simply enter the desired distance using the keypad. To begin feeding, push the joystick in the desired direction. Custom profiles for drilling and boring applications can be defined in the main configuration menu for later use when creating an operation. The profiles are set up pilot holes, set up auto drilling, set up peck drilling. Choose set up peck drilling from the main menu to define the profile. The approach speed is how fast the bit will come towards the workpiece from the memory key location. 
This can be a relatively fast rate to speed things up. Next, select the actual drilling feed rate. Next, set the overall drilling depth using the keypad. Next, record the mem key offset. This is the distance from the bit at the memory key location to the top of the workpiece. This value is only used when using the profile manually from within joystick jog modes. Next, set the PEC depth. You can have the built-in relay close momentarily upon each PEC to have an external air setup clear the chips away with each PEC. These profiles are also available as a possible action from within the joystick jog modes. They greatly simplify the creation of operations. Operations contain elements. When you create a new operation, you will provide the G drive with a few parameters and then you will select the elements that the operation will contain from a list. Here is a look at the list of elements that you can add to your operation. Our first demonstration is going to be an operation that drills some pilot holes. In preparation for this, let's define the pilot hole profile. Now let's create the operation. The operation number is displayed for you. This is important information. You start off by providing the memory key offset, which is the distance from the tip of the bit to the workpiece. The G drive preps for creating the operation. Next you define the initial XY feed rate. This can be somewhat fast as you want to make good use of your time and you are approaching the pilot hole location from the workpiece zero location. You can then set the initial feed rate for the z-axis. When drilling the actual pilot hole, the G drive subtracts 20 thousands from the memory key offset, then switches over to the actual drilling feed rate that you specified. This is done to prevent hitting the workpiece at the wrong feed rate. You next specify the elements that your operation will contain and any distance parameters that are required.
So my name's Tim, and I design electronic embedded stuff, and I write software in assembly language. I've been doing that for a long time, and um, if I can help you, any of you guys with any projects that you might be working on, or custom control interfaces to uh, machines built for a purpose, or anything, please don't hesitate to reach out and make contact. I'd love to help if I can. And by the way, the cases for my G Drive project were all machined out by the G Drive project, with the exception of the large hole for the joystick, that I bored manually, but everything else was programmed and ran automatically.